Hello and welcome to the inaugural Best Indie Games Summer Showcase. My name is Clement and I will be your host, bringing you an exciting look at all things indie gaming. So without further ado, let's begin with my favourite genre in the Metroidvania. Every step I take leads me to a darker path. Let me be your flame, my child. I will make them feel our pain. Now rise, my Ember Bane! seen you grow, not unlike I have. Your growth can be just as pervasive as this bountiful harvest if you follow me. What are you doing here? Surely you just wandered into the wrong room. My roots run deep, cracking the very foundation of the sanctuary you hide within. You could not be dancing to its off-key too, could you? Don't you know, all the change is...
the top-down Zelda-style action-adventure game lives on in indie games, with one title in particular that I have my eye on. Roguelites come in all shapes and sizes. This next set of games contains an array of stunning and innovative titles. Whether you're a fan of tight action or deep strategy roguelites, these games will be sure to have you wanting just one more run. This is not a All I had for you, my child. No more rules or forbidden powers. 
corpses shall be my army. I will unleash untold devastation and slay them all. Take you away from me. No one can. This is not over.
First-person games have grown beyond just being simple shooters, having significant crossovers with survival games, so let's take a look at what's coming up.
guys, my name is Andrei and I'm a solo developer of Artificial, a first-person physics-based puzzle platformer inspired by Portal and Half-Life series. Artificial takes place in the underground colony of asteroid 2031 XT, which is in the process of being captured and transferred into the Earth's orbit. This operation is suddenly interrupted by the appearance of the Corruption, an alien hive mind entity, which begins attacking the colonists and hunting down all the survivors. The game begins several months after this incident, with you, the player, returning from a scavenging mission, heading back to the last hidden base of the survivors. But that's enough for the story. Artificial heavily focuses on physical interaction with the environment and environmental puzzles. Everything is physics-based. Smaller objects can be grabbed and thrown to destroy locks, break planks, distract enemies or disarm various traps from a safe distance. Heavy objects can be slowly dragged and repositioned to block lasers, weigh down platforms or just to serve as a stepping stone for reaching an otherwise inaccessible place. You can interact with various levers and valves to control cranes and other intricate physics-based mechanisms, which are usually a big part of the environmental puzzles. However, not everything is about puzzles. Platforming and sneaking are also a big part of the gameplay, so don't forget to join our Discord and add the game to your wishlist. In today's hectic, modern world, cozy games provide opportunities for us to relax and unwind, bringing tranquility back into our lives. So please sit back, relax, and grab a cup of tea to immerse yourself in the soothing vibes of this next set of games.
Welcome! May I introduce you to Henry. Henry's not just anyone. If they're anything, they're, well, everything. Henry can transform into everything in their reach. Yes, everything. And that's how they manage their daily life. It's how they make their bed every morning. Or how they enjoy a beautiful bubble bath. It's how they make their morning coffee. How they relax and calm down. Or how they care for what they love. Finding joy in the simplest things. Get to know Henry's life story. From their carefree days as a baby, to their first responsibilities as a working adult, until their calmer, more laid-back senior years. Double the Henry, double the fun. Play Henry's not-so-ordinary everyday life in cold mode. Henry! Everyday life with a twist.
Unidooney is a light-hearted puzzle platformer which celebrates the bonds of friendship. Invite a friend and work together across handcrafted levels. Or challenge yourself by simultaneously controlling Uni and Dooney. Some bad guys will try to hinder your journey. But we know this won't be enough to stop our tiny heroes. Uni Dooney, wishlist now and try our demo on Steam. Taming a psychic spirit in the world of Moonstone Island is no easy feat. They only appear during an event called a psychic storm, which occurs on one random island somewhere in the world every night. Luckily, you don't have to rely on pure chance to find them. By combining a piece of sea glass with one dream drop inside your cauldron, you can brew a potion of psychic sight. Once consumed, the potion allows you to use your map to pinpoint the location of any ongoing psychic storms. Then, it's just a matter of getting to the island, tracking down a psychic spirit, and feeding them crops to tame them. Psychic spirits are the only spirits that can collect cards which boost your energy in battle, allowing you to play more cards per turn. This can be a huge advantage, completely changing the way your deck is played. So get out there and tame one. The isometric CRPG is a rich playground for developers to create fascinating worlds to be in, whether it be in a cyberpunk, fantasy, or even Victorian England inspired setting. So see which titles are coming up. As your kingdoms burn to the ground, a 
And you get what you came for. Unless you become one of us. Welcome to Slavic Bank, a cyberpunk world as viewed by the Slavs. To make your way through the streets of the city that used to have a name, you'll need to perfect the art of negotiation. Maintain recommended social distancing, though. Our assortment of guns will make solving any argument with other citizens swift and bloody. Master the art of active reload to gain a temporary power-up and use your weapon to its true potential. The police may or may not take some interest in your deeds, so be sure to either avoid them as any Slav would, or solve the problem the old-fashioned way. Use the environment to your advantage during a fight, or bend space and time by surprising the enemies with dashing and synth adrenaline. If guns don't make the cut, try battle hacking. Stay in the rhythm and keep the battery power just right to take out unsuspecting enemies from afar. Meet your friendly neighbors and see the world through the eyes of the happiest Slavic man you've ever seen. I don't like the looks of them. And then, Shoot it all to pieces. This is definitely the weirdest trip of my life. Turn-based titles are the thinking person's game where strategy and planning take center stage. So put on your thinking caps for this next set of games and unleash the tactician within.
Yeah. Wish city where everyone gets busy. Cause minimum wage here is something like 650. Crime running rampant. Paper changing hands like pamphlets. Government can't seem to understand it. They call us a town without a future. It's full of shooters and alcohol abusers. Fools spreading rumors. Boosters and looters. You can make friends here or make maneuvers. And if you choose the ladder, you'll make it up the ladder. But you better get away before your dome gets splattered. Everybody got a plan till they get punched in the mouth. When the drama's right in front of them, they run in the house. Make a wish. Everybody take a sip to the devil's factor. With the sin all on their lips. Got the nerve to want to kiss. You ain't never seen a town more desolate than this. Yeah. Need help, police is getting busy, yeah. You better call up my familiar. Yeah. Cause these streets is getting gritty, yeah. And they about to tear the whole city, yeah. F-A-M-I-L-I-A-R, yeah. They know who we are, yeah. F-A-M-I-L-I-A-R, yeah. Cause they know who we I are. Heard Mr. On. D took a spill, and upon first look, He was clumsy and slipped, though was he actually pushed? There's no probable cause that says he broke any laws. Now he's cracked out on the street, shell covered in gauze. The higher you climb, it's the harder you fall. They can't protect your rights if they don't exist at all. Man, another day in Wish City where the poor get ignored and the rich get busy. Guilty to proven wealthy in these courts. So we dined the cake to get much needed support. And I can guarantee in the end, victory won. Get familiar with familiars, we get the job done. Yeah. Need help, police is getting busy, yeah. You better call up my familiar. Yeah. Cause these streets is getting gritty, yeah. And they about to tear the whole city, yeah. F-A-M-I-L-I-A-R, yeah. They know who we are, yeah. F-A-M-I-L-I-A-R, yeah. Cause they know who we are, come on. The classic level beast 2D platformer differs significantly from the metroidvania, with immaculate platforming and combat being the key highlights here, with a bunch of awesome games and one that is seemingly back from the dead.
We just follow the path. Before trouble found us. There's a long lineage of base builders and real-time strategy games that could be traced back to titans in the industry, where this next group of games are both paying tribute while also advancing the genre. So grab your pick and hammer and get to work brick by brick.
is but a dried up wasteland. Waters become the new gold. Only a handful have managed to survive. In a world where even water is scarce, unlimited growth isn't an option because every little bit counts. In this unforgiving place, nothing lasts forever. Adapt to a nomadic lifestyle or die. Develop laws and technologies to kickstart progress when you settle down again. There's no end to the dangers of the wasteland, but with your guidance, your survivors just might make it through the night. Roots of Yggdrasil presents a very rare blend of genres, introducing a strong narrative aspect in a city builder with roguelike elements. The player must always build on a new set of procedurally generated islands, trying to escape the dark void. Each run brings perks and abilities that will carry on even after failure, as in any good roguelike. As for our hero, you play as Suna, a scion living in the Holt whose task is to rebuild the world tree. On each run, Suna and her friends will encounter deities and mythical creatures such as the sly and conniving Ratatosker that will aid them on their journey while providing additional quests and storylines whose progress will be fully controlled by the player. However, you mustn't forget the main quest, which is to reach the top of Yggdrasil. In between loops, players will revisit the Holt, a safe haven serving as a main hub. When supplies are gathered and roots are nurtured, players can customize and build a permanent settlement with unique buildings enabling a multitude of upgrades and trading opportunities that will help them during their runs. It's also a good moment to get to know the other survivors that join you on your expeditions. Once you're ready, you'll set course for another expedition by taking the portal to another shard of Yggdrasil in hopes of nurturing that one back to life.
I stand for the light. One thing that I love about indie games is the sheer range of titles across all genres, so here are perhaps some more niche entries that you might find interesting.
take a trip back to the days of the early internet and fan forums, where Kinmoku's video game console, the Shark, and its online social network, Videoverse, were still popular. Back to simpler times, where we chat about our favorite video games, easily express ourselves, and just have fun. The friendships we fostered, and the new friends we met, the community we built, and the memories we made. I'll never forget the time I spent on Videoverse. That will do it for this year. Thank you for watching and to these fine folks as well. Check out their channels for amazing content where links to all the games mentioned will be in the description below. Subscribe to this channel for more indie games and before I go, here's one more thing. People of our glorious mega city S19, a terrorist walks among us. Now is not the time for fear, however. No. Come in, we're Frank! Is it true? A pilot and a slave have risen against our Holy Father? The pilot defies the master. It's not my master anymore. By design, a slave can't function without a pilot in control. Prepare to engage! You must have thought this slave here would bring you power. But power is nothing without control. Suffer! More. More.